day, Tinkercad friends. I am back and I've got a brand new project for you. We are going to make our own gingerbread house. So let's jump into Tinkercad and let's get cracking. Start by clicking create new design. And then type in gingerbread is a lot. So I'm going to just do house MDH and I'm going to do GB for gingerbread. Let's start our cool little building with a box. And I'm going to build with walls today. So I want you to make this 60 wide. And then I only want this side to be 3 millimeters thick. So we're going to build with walls instead of building with big blocks. And then I want you to make it 35 high. Let's make it brown so it looks a little more gingerbready. I'm going to pull it to one of the grid lines just so it looks a little more lined up. Quickly do a fit view to make sure I'm where I thought I was. Nope, I missed by one. All right, so since I'm looking at it from the front and I've got it lined up, if I do control D to duplicate, so the back wall will be the same, I can just push it away with the arrow keys. I'm going to do control D again, and then I'm going to grab the handle and rotate that 90 degrees. Now I want this building to be thinner than it is long, so I'm going to click on this and where it used to say 60, I'm going to make it 35. I'm going to just grab my little piece. I'm going to take a better look at it from the side. And I'm going to just move it to this corner where I want the wall of my gingerbread house to be. And then I'm going to do control D to make its other side and move it across just using the arrow keys. And finally push that wall back so it's where it's supposed to be. Let's zoom in so we can take a good look at it to make sure it's all where it's supposed to be. You notice I missed by one millimeter. I'm going to hold down shift and select all three. And then when I move it one millimeter in, now my building has all its walls and I can group it. I'm going to drop a roof on it by pressing W and then clicking up on the flat area and bring out the green roof. For our gingerbread house, we need to rotate this roof 90 degrees. So just grab the rotation handle and spin it around. With it in place, I'm going to give it a little bit of an overhang on every corner and then just use the nifty black handles to pull it out so that it looks the way I want. Let's look at it from a corner view and see how much higher we want it to be. I'm going to give it a little bit more slope, so I'm going to make it up to 20. I'm going to press W and click the blue to shut off the work plane. Bring out a cube and we're going to add an entryway to our little building. Uh, we want this to be 35 high. I'm going to type the number 35 so that it is quick and easy. So it's just like the building. And then we want to make sure that it stays 20 and 20. Turn it brown. And then we're going to add a different style roof or a roof that's poking out a different way. Same rough shape. But we want to take this and poke it off just a little ways on each side again. Raise it up and stick it into our other one. So it just gives it an even cooler shape. I'm going to select all of these and make sure that they're aligned from the front. Get a good angle so I can see this dot because I want them all to be to the middle. And then let's group all of those so that they're now one piece. Now that we've got that done. Let's click on the color tool, switch multicolor back on, and let's cut in our entryway. Press W, set your work plane down, bring out another cube. This one is too large, so let's just make it thinner. Let's go down to 15, and the height is fine at 20. Let's put a rounded entryway, so press W and set the round roof on top of your part. Make sure that this fits exactly. So I'm going to just use the black handles and move it from there. Rotate around to the side view. And make sure that it lines up exactly that way. When both of those pieces are lined up perfect, then I'm going to group them. And I need to make them a hole. And let's align up this little hole so it's cutting right where we want. We want it to cut back to the main wall, but we want to be able to put a door on when we're done. I'm going to make sure this piece is aligned, so I'm going to ungroup this all for a second. If 
I can click on the brown one and ungroup it. There we go. And then I'm going to grab and touch both of those pieces. And when I do a line and center, that'll align my door so it's perfect. And now when I regroup it, I will have a sweet little cutout door for my gingerbread house. Don't forget you got to turn on multicolor so you get your browns back. All right, so our building is looking amazing, our gingerbread house. We need to add all the cool icing windows and everything like that. I'm going to do that using the cool scribble tool. The first thing I'm going to do is put the work plane on the wall so that my scribble tool attaches. When I bring it out, then I'm going to try and just draw a cute little window. I want my window to be as straight as I can, but also, if you remember right, if you've ever done one of these, icing never really goes on straight anyhow. So just draw it as cool as you can, and then when you hit done, it'll show up. Uh, remember, if you have a piece that you don't like, like I don't want that one dangling down, you can just erase it. You can always use undo and do it again and again until you're happy. I'm going to say good enough, and I'm going to bring in my adorable little window. It's too large, but that's no big deal. You just shrink it down to the size you want, push it in. Like I said, mine is made of icing, so I'm going to turn it white, and bam, my cool gingerbread house is starting to take shape. Use that same technique to add doors, windows, candy canes, all the fun little items that you want to make your gingerbread house the most epic gingerbread house on the planet. Friends, thanks for watching. I hope you had a blast making this. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button, please. If you got a question or a comment, add it down below. And if you want to know when the movies are made immediately, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep tinkering.